بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My name is Dan I'm the four years old I'm a professional speaker speaking instructor and a science professor and two top of talking Newton three law motions who was Newton he was a physicist and he was born in 1642 it was this time he had a little new band old scientist gone a new scientist came mm -hmm. and he died at 1727 and Newton wrote his best book, The Principia. The Principia in that book, it tells about emotion. It tells about emotion of cars, motion of human beings, motion of meteorites, motion of everything. And from that, we can calculate the pulsing of the equator and also fractioning of the poles. Of the earth, okay. So now, let's go to the Newton three law of motion. Okay. Motion. And first class states, if a thing is in rest, it will be in rest until the external force is applied. If a thing is in uniform motion, it will be in uniform motion until the external force is applied. Okay. And Newton's first law of motion is also called the law of inertia. Okay. You see why? Because you see this table is not moving, it is laziness. Inertia is called laziness. Okay. Things want to be in their position, it doesn't want to move. Okay. So it's also called law of inertia. Okay. So now, let's demonstrate Newton's first law of motion. Okay, sir. You see, for example, okay. this football, <coughs> you see, it is not moving, it's in rest. Okay. Newton says that if a thing is rest, it will be in rest. You okay. see, it's in rest. Okay, yeah. Okay, so now, see, it's in motion, motion, motion. See? Okay. Oh, yeah. Newton's law, Newton's first law of motion says that if a thing is in uniform motion, it will be in uniform motion. Mm -hmm. But what's stopping? Because an extra force is applied. Okay. The air friction, okay. ground friction, and after this whole fire stopping. Okay, okay, okay. So Newton's first law of motion proved? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Proved. Okay. So, first law of motion is satisfied, and <coughs> second law of motion is okay. state acceleration. Okay. Acceleration is directly proportional to force. Acceleration is inversely proportional to mass. Hmm. You see. Okay. Acceleration is inversely proportional to force. Okay. Okay, okay. What does that mean? That acceleration is direct proportional to force. Okay. Acceleration is inversely proportional to mass. More force will be applied than acceleration will be? Uh, much produced. Okay. And acceleration is not produced in a bigger body. Okay. So, so for example, you see. You want to demonstrate it? Yeah. Okay. This is a bigger body, this is a smaller body. This is Volkswagen. Okay. It's model 1600, it's very old car. <laughs> okay, okay. So now, this is the eagle car. Okay. So you see, for example, it is half kg okay. and it is, it is, it is one kg. Okay. Okay, first time. Four. Apply how much force? Ten oh. Newton. You see, okay. more acceleration is produced. Okay. So that says that acceleration is must be proportional. Directly proportional. Directly proportional to force. Okay. And now, I'll try to push this car with the same force. By increasing mass? Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's just stopping. Okay. It's just, uh, you know, the less um, acceleration it produces. Okay. Interesting. Acceleration is inversely proportional to mass. Okay. You what see? is acceleration? Acceleration is the extent of velocity. Okay. Interesting. So, now, so second law of motion is third So yeah. now, see, this is the ball. Now, this is the third law of motion. First stated? You see that if there is an action, there will be the action. And you know, they are in opposite direction but in same magnitude. Okay. See, I try this try to bounce this ball. See okay. it's bouncing. Okay. You see action and reaction. Okay. Action. You see action was a uh, their reaction. You know they are in same opposite direction but in same magnitude. Okay. So 
Very good. And um, any other examples of Newton's third law of motion? Oh, yeah. About the bicycle, if you move the bicycle, <laughs> there's also action in the action. Okay. So, this is all about Newton's And Tilo. about rockets? Yeah, rockets also. Okay. And this is all about. Their uh, gases are burning? Yeah. And burning and, you know, coming. it's something like a fluid balloon. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, so this is all about Newton's Tilo of motion. Thank you so much, sir. Everything is quite uh, amazingly satisfied. Thank you. If you want to see my more video, check zdenam.com. You will see a lot of interesting <laughs> videos. I will wait for your feedback. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.